Ladies and gentlemen, welcome everybody back. Today, we're going to be talking about Modern Warfare 3, the reveal so far, and if we actually like it and if we're going to play it. So, I want to give a little bit of a first off, I want to start this video by saying that I actually do love when these companies have reveal events that are kind of ARG based. I actually have always really liked that. I like easter eggs to solve certain things and you know sending creators cool little intel and, and boxes and stuff that stuff is really cool to me and i think the perfect example of a really good game of doing that is actually cold war cold war now whatever you want to say about the actual game itself the reveal of cold war was absolutely stunning i mean you had the boxes that were sent out you had the old film you had pawn takes pawn you had in-game events Cold War was the whole shebang. You had that one trailer where the guy's talking about Russian versus American, communism versus capitalism, whatever it is. But this game feels different. First off, let me go off by this. Here is the Modern Warfare 3 reveal. It's right here. It's on the screen. And as you can see, you play it. The first thing that comes up is a phone number. It's pretty cool. You go through the rest of the trailer, and you know, there's different things here. It shows Makarov, shows Price, and then November 10th. But what we're going to focus on is that phone number. You call the phone number, or you text it, you text ready, and then what happens? You, you get a lot of information, including this photo right here. Now, obviously, this is a photo for a event in, you know, Warzone that will be a reveal event in Modern Warfare 3. And although you can talk about the logo, which I don't really love, what I want to say is Sledgehammer is going to have two years to create Modern Warfare 3, or as we some people will call it, Modern Warfare 2 DLC. And so then what? We have this reveal event, we have the game come out, and is it even worth playing? Is it even worth checking out? I'm not too sure right now. Um... I sit here in silence, thinking about the future of Call of Duty. And right now, there's nothing that is piquing my interest to play Modern Warfare 3. Uh, I know it is very early in the development, I know it's very early in the reveal, but part of me just feels like if I buy this game, I'm gonna be ripped off. So unless Zombies comes out with something, or the campaign and multiplayer really impresses me, I don't see myself buying this game. And this is somebody that loved 2019 Modern Warfare and didn't like Modern Warfare 2. So, is Modern Warfare 3 going to be a big step up? I don't think so. I don't have any faith in Sledgehammer. And Infinity Ward hasn't really proven to me that they are super consistent. And yeah. Just basically I want to say that Modern Warfare 3 is going to be basically a DLC of Modern Warfare 2. And I'm very, very skeptical of what this brings and this reveal event seems seemingly like, like a half-assed version of cold war there's no really cool element to it so far besides maybe a couple little things here and there but only time will tell if that if this dlc is worthy dlc i say dlc but this full game is worthy just trying to speak from my mind here and a lot of my feelings on modern warfare 3 are very mixed and with Activision's troubles and Sledgehammer's troubles, I don't really have too much faith in Modern Warfare 3. Thank you all so much for watching. I know this wasn't the most professional video, but I feel like I had an opinion on Modern Warfare 3 and I wanted to just get my raw views out. Thank you all so much. Check out the channel and I'll see you in the next one.